Hello everyone, I'm by myself today and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you how to make a classic chatterbox ah, using nothing but a piece of A4 paper and a set of scissors. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you'll need to know when you make a chatterbox is that your piece of paper has to be square. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this normal piece of paper. I'm going to take one of the top corners and fold it over until it reaches the other side of the paper. And that should match up pretty perfectly to give me a nice diagonal line. And then I'm going to turn my piece of paper on its side and I'm going to cut down that line. That way when I open it up, it should be a nice square piece of paper. So I'm going to cut along that line now. And I can get rid of that little bit of paper there. Open it up and I have my perfect square piece of paper. Not only that, but my first fold is actually done for me. And that was a diagonal fold. The next thing I want to do is open it up and I want to make another diagonal fold going the other way. So we take it up to the very top, make sure our corners and our little points are all meeting up and make a fold along there. Open it up again and you can see I've got one fold going this way and one fold going that way. That's really important because now I have a little center point right in the middle. I'll put a little dot there so you can see the center point. Now I have to bring every one of these points to meet the center point. So I grab that, bring it down to my little center point and make a nice neat fold, turn it around, bring the next one down to my center point and make a nice neat fold, bring my third one down to make a nice fold and my last one comes down as well to make a nice fold. You want to make sure that everything is tight at the moment and then we're going to flip over our whole sheet of paper so that way all we have is a nice flat surface with all of our folds on the bottom side. So when you have the flat piece pointing up at you, you then want to take all of these four corners and bring them to the center point again. So I start with this one and I fold it over nice and even, bring my next one over to the center point, bring the last one over, oops, second last one to the center point, and the final one should slot in nice and neatly, just like that. Now, if you let go, everything's going to start to unravel a little bit. So we want to now fold it upwards in half and put down a little bit of pressure. Oh, now open it up again, turn it around and fold it up again. A little bit of pressure. And now we can pick it up. Now I've got it in half this way and half that way and I can't really see what to do. So I want to let it relax a little bit and I can see there is where I want to be putting my thumbs because that's where my uh, thumbs are going to go. So again, if it looks like that, let it relax. And now you can see that I put two thumbs in here and hopefully I can put another two thumbs up there. And there we have it. A nice little chatterbox to have some fun with. Don't forget, Draw it all over it, make it, um, make it your own. You could even put some lead, some numbers in here and some secret messages underneath, but I'm sure somebody will be able to tell you how to use one of these and have lots of fun. So yeah, that's how to make a chatterbox out of an A4 sheet of paper. Thank you so much, bye.